Close your eyes. Watch your mind. What is your mind doing right now? If it's wandering around, give it a place to stay. Give it a home base in which you can settle. Settle down with the breath. Each time the breath comes in, know it's coming in. Each time it goes out, know it's going out. Try to stay right here as the mind wanders around. The Buddha calls that samsara. It's not a place to rest. You try to settle in someplace and it just pushes you out. So for the time being, rest stay with the breath. Someday it will leave you too, but for the time being you can use it to give the mind some stability so it can stay here in the present moment. When it's in the present moment, it can watch itself. Because you begin to realize all the wandering around comes from the mind itself. It's not the case that we're being pulled around by outside forces. We're pushing, pushing, pushing from within. So where does that push come from? What are you looking for? Take some time out to watch. Make the breath comfortable so this, that it is a good place to stay. And then you'll learn a lot about yourself. Tomorrow is the celebration for Songkran, which is the Thai New Year. New Years are a time for new beginnings. It's time, usually a time for blessings. So what kind of blessing do you want to give yourself? Well, one of the best blessings you can give is that you become more mindful and more alert to what you're doing. Because the world you experience comes out of your own actions. Your thoughts, your words, your deeds, either from the past or from the present moment. You can't do much about the past, but you can shape the present moment well. So that's a blessing right there. You try to be mindful, try to be heedful. Heedfulness means realizing there are dangers in the world, but if you're skillful in your action, you can avoid those dangers. So try to develop the qualities of mind that make it easy to avoid dangers. And that's something you can do every day. It's a blessing that doesn't have to wait till the new year. Because you ask other people for blessings, they're happy to give them. But then they just wash right off. You want something that's more indelible, something that goes deep into the mind and stays with you all the time. And those have to be blessings that you give yourself. So think about the various ways you can be blessing yourself. And as the Buddha said, they all begin with heedfulness. So try to be heedful all the time, realizing that your actions have results, and so you want to be careful about what you choose to do. And that way the whole year is a blessed year. Every time you train the mind in the right direction, okay, that's a blessing for yourself. And it's a blessing for the people around you, too. Because as the Buddha pointed out, there's no way that you get any real advantage over harming other people. It's when you do good in terms of generosity, virtue, developing thoughts of goodwill. That's when you benefit yourself and you benefit the people around you as well. You bless yourself and you bless them too.